left the stream. <clears throat> Please wipe your face. <laughs> That's so bad. Got milk? Shut the fuck up. I do. Now I'm full of milk. Oh, God. That, that precious milk. Hello, everyone. Milk. I'm Hugo. Jake. That's an old YouTube reference, milk. Remember that? Milk. 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 Anyway. I know people that say milk. No, they're and, wrong. And pillow yeah. instead of pillow and eggs instead of eggs. I feel like the worst thing I could do is rub the milk into my mustache and then I get crusty mm, Crust. old milk. That Maybe that's what milk is. Milk is crusty milk. And then you put it back and then you re reconstitute it. That's dehydrated so milk. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> today we're here on Hugo and Jake. Yeah. To uh, open some more packages from our P.O. box. But are we going to do this thing first? Or are we going to we do... We do that thing first. Uh, okay. Someone said you need a haircut. It's I, time. I do need a haircut. How's I'm mine? Gonna... Mine's getting there. It's okay though. I've decided I need... I, I've, I'm to the length. She's talked me into it. I'm either shaving it. Or she's gonna. You help said me keep she it. cut Alex's. She, she did. She cut mine and Alex's, and it looks fine. She, she can cut yours too. Maybe I'll give her a shot at she's it. She's an artist that happens to be able to cut hair. My girlfriend, kinda, we're talking about. Yeah, I'd love if I didn't have to go to that barber anymore. It'd be great. So maybe. I kind of want to go to the barber with you. <laughs> He's not like egregious. I don't think he'd. It wouldn't be as exciting as you want. I just don't necessarily want to give his business money. Anyway, so today we're here to. Uh, Open or, packages. Or, and Oh, she says, oh, God. Worst case scenario, I'll shave my head. It's fine. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, I kind of want to shave my head, too. Um, but, oh, that was what I was going to say. Uh, but I've decided that I, I, I either need to shave it or I need to actually get, like, pomade. Mm. And, like, actually actually tend to it. Because wind goes, and now I'm emo and I want to cut myself. Yeah. And this is not a good look for anybody. Like, this annoys me. You look like you've been working at Hot Topic since high school, but you are this age. Gonna get moved over to GameStop soon. This mall isn't <laughs> isn't liking the cut of your jib. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so uh, before that happens, this is not an ad. We don't really do those a lot. No. Uh, I get emailed about it constantly. Oh. But mostly it's people that we hate. So, um, I, uh, I'm, I'm getting glasses um, new ones. And these are from Warby Parker, so they send you five frames. Let's pick out Jake's frames! These are gonna be on his face. This is, We're gonna pick out his new face, basically. Yeah, we're, yeah, these are called the Riesling. Okay. The Riesling, like a wine. Like a wine, I was like gonna a wine. say. These are a metal frame. These are the only metal frames we have. They I have like a, the, uh... The, I don't know what this is uh, called. Stems or something. Uh, these, these have no, no frame on the bottom, of course, as you can see. Um, they have a... They have a good... A little jingly. Good glasses sound. If you like that, if you're into that, if that's a feature you look for in your glasses, it's <laughs> there. So, uh, just how, how do we like that? Rate that out of five. Look at me, look at me for real. Rate that out of five. That is, uh... <laughs> I, don't, I don't like these. That's woke Professor Jake. Yeah, I, 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 per, I personally don't like these very much. But if you, if you like them, that's better because I, I have no sense of style. Which is fine. They're stylish. They but are, but you, but you, I I need to I need to the you, rest of it would have to come with it. You'd have to dress up for these glasses. Right, that's kind of what I'm thinking. And which is why do I don't like it. I can, but I'd prefer not to. If you could get two, maybe save these for like weddings and stuff. You're these wear are a suit. these are 145 dollars. The rest are 95. Another reason they're my least favorite. So uh, some people are okay. These are this is all over the map. The Paul Allen is coming. That's correct. Looks nice, but doesn't. That's a solid... I have contacts on right now. These aren't prescription. Uh, <laughs> Zone Tun Dragon. Zonated Dragon! You're, you're here from the stream! Hey, Jake. Hello, Hugo. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Thank you for the for the, the monies. Okay. Can we establish a standard? Are we doing a 1 out of 5 or 1 out of 10? Let's do these? 1 out of 5. 1 out of 5. I said 1 out of 5. Oh, okay, did we? Okay. 7 out of 11 from Der Volks... Der Volks... They're using metric, so that's okay. different. Uh, this, this is called the Benson... Like the These... do like the doctor that the guy played after Cheers, yeah maybe uh or the common last name. Um, these are by far if I had to pick one, um where you'd also match your shoes with them or something. These sure. are the match your shoes with them glasses, but they're not bad because I wear a lot of blue. So these are blue. Yeah. They have a they have a I don't know what this is called, uh but they have that sort of that sort of uh it's kind of cool that design. They're okay, but they I feel like they sit on my face weird because the bridge of my nose isn't yeah. an Italian one. I don't have a 18-inch dick, so and you can tell because of the bridge of my nose. 
So I feel like they sit a little low on the cheek. A little low on the cheek. A little bit. I yeah. think they're a little... Like, I don't know how to... It's the wing part, like this, yeah. it's too wide for your face. Yeah, that's what I think so, too. So I'm not super crazy about these. Um, but these are blue. I like the color. I just the color's like the fine. The other ones are blue, the, but those are frame. garbage. Those are just, I like, got real cheap. The actual... I don't know what the actual frame... Is this just the frame, this part? The part that actually frames the glasses? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like the shape of the frames. But yeah. I like the, the actual material they're made out of. Yeah, see, not a good look. See, yeah. The, I also thought, not great. Not great. I didn't really care for these either. These are these are not very good. Uh, but they look they look good on the website on the models. <laughs> they're models. They are models. The best thing they look in is nothing because that's what they're hired for. <laughs> Our clothes will make you less attractive, but you'll still be wearing them, so they'll look good. <laughs> the next we have these are these are kind of like uh, if if one of these would pair with a smoking jacket, well, I think I think the smoke the Chamberlains. Would would clearly. This is 0.5 hipster. Right. It's it's like just hipstery enough. Sure. They're classy. I don't feel like this goes into too much. I territory. could wear loafers with these bad boys, or I could just wear tennis shoes. No one's no one's uh, no one's really really sassing me about these glasses. They they're just a little. They got a little bit of a flare at the bottom here. How do we like those? That's all right. That's I kind, all right. I kind of wish this was a slightly different color than it was. It, like it was just clear. It looks yeah. a little brown clear. Well, but, uh, they, yeah. uh, depressed dork. Who has Wowzers. the best, Who has the better nuggets? Wendy's or McDonald's? Wendy's. Wendy's. Uh, so, subtly awkward. I hope you got my package via Amazon. My name's Maven. Maybe. If TBR was a gay couple, Jake would be abusive. Probably yes. true. His girlfriend's in the other room. Does he hit you? Yes. Yeah. Did we do the five dollar one? Did we do the five dollar one? If not, oh, let us know. I'll scroll, scroll up. Uh, we weren't uh, expecting it. Sorry, we we're just uh, trying on glasses. We we're looking at spectacles, dude. You do not know about Zenny.com. Ten to fifty dollars pair of lenses included. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Oh, they like this one. Uh, hipster point five out of five does not like this one. These these are getting good reviews though overall. I think. Let me look again. Yeah, I could see that. The Chamberlains. Yeah, I think these are these are like um. Skinny hipster dad at Starbucks. Sure. Which, none you of can, those apply. You can go to Starbucks. I could. I could. I have a dog. I'm a dog dad. Sure. That's my number one right now. Yeah, I think so too. I agree. Um, these these have a similar style to them. These are called the Burke in the color Tennessee Whiskey. Um, so I had to go with a little bit of my heritage here and steer into the alcoholism. And... <laughs> depression yeah. and uh so this one instead of uh the last which was which was kind of a subtle top these have the clear that you were talking about along with a a, a, a less subtle top interesting so i think i'm gonna like these ones more yeah okay so let's see let's see they're a little tight on the on the head so i don't know if that if that looks weird because i have a wide brain I like these ones better, and like I these actually ones think these fit your face better. Really? I don't know how if they're not comfortable. They're not. Well, they're comfortable. not. They're not not comfortable. They they're snug, so I can like I could I could you know if if my hair was like this I could I could <laughs> headbang to Coheed and Cambria. No, but I think well, that's Lunos not Nocturne good. gives Sarah her own show. She's got a computer. That's her prerogative. <laughs> that's not on me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, okay, so, a lot a lot of a lot of very ooh, yeah. daddy is fuck. Thank you, Brianna. I'm going to jail. Um, okay, so these are four point one. Okay, John Norris. All right, so these are these are. I think these are consensus right now. Yeah, I'd agree. These are consensus. These are pretty okay. All right, I'm fine with that. I like both equally. I think. Bernice Thou Handers, uh, thousands options upload. Oh, you're talking about uh, Zenny.com. Um, yeah, I I don't know. I, I might look at Zenny for a secondary pair, specifically a. Um, like shades or something. But the girlfriend swears by Warby Parker, so I want to own one and try it out. I want to see how it goes. I want to see all my experiences. Now, this one is probably one okay. of my least favorites. This is a Seymour in the color Sage. I don't wear a lot... Like, I thought these were brown on the on the internet when I picked them out. Okay. So they're, they're much more green in person, especially under this light. Yeah. Yeah, they're real green. But my eyes might look okay with some green. I could see. I just wear a lot of blues, though. And I don't know if I don't. I don't know things about fashion, so maybe this is fine. But I think I like the last ones better. How do we like these? 
Should I be wearing a sweater vest? I was going to say... Like a sweater vest? If we were lovers, adorable. God, okay. Outside of that, though, I don't think it's going to work for you. No, it's like a, it's like a reading glasses at night in bed. Yeah. With the with the, the Michael Crichton. Yeah. Like a, Or a, what's another semi-page turner? The Hunt for Red October? Well, no, like a, like an, like a, just any author. This is me. That's how I flip pages when I'm gay with you. <laughs> in the, in bed. And when we do the lamp. You're, you're, you're rereading, uh, How to Kill a Mockingbird. Mm, yes. Did you know they don't teach you how to kill a mockingbird in this book? I'm pretty sure that joke's been well treaded on by this point. It's but... not a joke, it's really disappointing. Anyway, and then I close the book, put it on there, and then we roll over and we don't talk to each other, and then I... And we turn off the lamps. I apply my CPAP. <laughs> That's our gay life. It, it, doesn't get, it doesn't get more gay, really. We just share a bed. There's a scary alternate reality out there where yeah. that's happening. Yep. I wish those two the best. What a cute couple. Anyway. Okay, so I think we're going with uh, the winners here. Okay, one more time, just because these two... Sure. You guys didn't know this was going to happen, did you? Did you? I decided it last second, so I didn't know either. Uh, we have um, the Chamberlains, which I believe came in second, but let's just, let's just, eh. yeah. I feel like you're, you're, you're favoriting this. Uh, so these are the Chamberlains, and then we have the Burks. Last call. Last call for Chamberlain. And now the Burks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? These win. Okay. I think these win. All right. I want the gay Hugo and Shake. You're going to have to find that universe. Sorry. Three gays, five us. Yeah. All right. So these are the winners. You will see me in these. Maybe never have contacts. <laughs> yeah, so the rest of this, we're going to be answering questions and yeah. opening up packages. Yeah. We actually have... A ton here this time. We I do don't have know how... a lot more than I thought we would, uh, given how the time frame... It's been like half a month. Right. I'm surprised by how much. Some of them are quite large as well. I'm so. kind of thinking we should do this at the beginning of months. From yeah. now on, like maybe the first Wednesday of every month. Sure. Just so everyone knows to look and forward I, to some it. Some of this stuff I had to go like, up to the counter again, too. There was yeah. too much for even like the separate bigger package mailbox. So, according to Sarah, the proper way to do this is to grab a large box... Empty it and then start putting things in the... Yeah. yeah. Or two large boxes in yeah. a row. But we also have a trash bag. We have been going slow to fast. Or sl slow to fast? Small to large. That's... That's just... Maybe quite a second. We have a little trash bag. So we'll put the trash in there. And then we'll grab... We'll grab... This is on camera. Worth it. Well, that's, service. that's actually really horrifying. Is it? Yeah, that happens fast. You die immediately in there. Oh. Yeah. Good to know. Immediately you start breathing. You're like, this isn't working. This is not functional. Uh, so someone got us a, a portable restroom operator, the magazine. If I could get a job here, I would. I'm applying right now. This is officially me applying to the Porta Potty magazine. I was going to throw this away because I hate getting magazines, but god damn it. Did you know articles are written about porta potties? If the professor had porn, this is his. This would be the porn. This oh, is, that no, that doesn't make a lot of sense without the context. That's does it? his D and D character. <laughs> it's just it's just pages and pages of different outhouses. Yeah, it's not even like it's not even subtle about what they're doing. No, they're right up. It's just an advertising thing. It's a, oh, you need stuff on your job site. Here's our fucking porta potties. You and know? the paper. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's great. Those guys all... Hey. Wait, these guys have wrinkly clothes. Look at these wrinkly people. What the fuck? I'm assuming they've been pumping porta potties all day. Look how wrinkly these porta potty workers are. <laughs> Why are they so wrinkly? It was a sh photo shoot. Wow, look at this. This porta potty is so amazing, they call it majestic. And it's got like it's four, four scented candles in it. Four and... portas in one potty. That's That's... That's the luxury one, Is that sedan. one port of four potty? Or four port of one potty? Alright, that's the comedy potential. No, I was going to put no, it no. in that, that. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. You're right, the comedy isn't worth Sarah's wrath. No, she'll get us, dude. She's got, uh, she's got ferocity. 
Okay, so things I think we can just throw away will go first. So, uh, no, I don't mean the contents. I mean, you like, mean the packaging like the packaging and, and yeah. not... Yeah. I agree. Yeah, okay. So, we'll get our shiv out. Crochet Hobbit, I need you to watch the movie Andy's Rainbow. I'll write it down. Hold on. Uh, we missed a five dollar. Ah, ah. I am writing oh, down. Oh, Ichabod Jane just gave us five bucks for no reason. Thank you, Ichabod Jane. Uh, what was the name of the movie again? Andy's Rainbow. I'll look it up. I've seen Orange Is the New Black. I'm caught up to like season two and a half. So. The new season just came out. I know. I it At this point, I'm just kind of like. Eh, what? I want to see it wrap up. I want to see it end. It's a good show right now, but, I mean, I'm only in season two. Yeah. So. Three or four, it starts to... It doesn't wind be, down? It doesn't become shit or anything. It just kind of gets into a pattern, you know? Okay. And it doesn't reach heights. So I'm just ready for a wrap up. Okay, so the, I, I got a, a sneak peek on what this is. Hi, Hugo. Enjoy your gift from Steven. This is for you. Okay, we got some more super chat. Oh, goodness! Yeah, this is crazy. Paul! Uh, I'm glad you're using the box cutter. This is Paul sent this. Oh, I'm gonna open it for you. Okay, this is for me. Well, yeah, I'm gonna open. I'm gonna cut the tape up with that. Who here. sent it to me? Steven. S just Steven. Okay. Steven. Is this someone we've been in contact with before? Maybe. Oh, yeah. We. I know a lot of Steves. Sure. I know a few of them. You'd be surprised. There you go. But you know what this is. I know, I know the description. I wasn't gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. It's like a little present. I'm afraid one of these days I'm gonna open a box and a, butterflies are gonna come out. They'd be dead as fuck. We don't, we don't check that very often. I don't want a box of dead butterflies either. <laughs> then, then they're just in the box and their wings are all dried up and crinkly and if you shook the box you could probably hear it like. Yeah, we need to shave. <laughs> fuck you, I'm not shaving. Not for you. <laughs> Hipster Jesus mug. I accept. Thank you. Might have to get closer. That's a yeah. Hipster Jesus there mug. There he is. God damn! I want Jesus's uh, scarf in this picture. He looks cozy as fuck. Do you like scarves? Uh, I'm not a scarf guy. I, I don't, don't like scarves. I don't have a lot of outfits that necessitate them. My jacket has a scarf. Actually, your girlfriend, was it she who did the scarves for people? Yeah. Yeah. I have that one, but it's too long for my fucking coat, unfortunately. Is it? Yeah, but I really mm. like it. But um, That was that was the one for your D&D &D thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I like scarves. Yeah. Not a big scarf fan. Jesus, just gonna go write his screenplay at Starbucks. We already made that joke Starbu earlier. Starbucks? Not screenplay. I feel like Starbucks right now. Do you see that they ban straws? Uh, plastic straws. They still make paper straws. Well, yeah. Do you see what the paper straws are wrapped in plastic? <laughs> One step at a time. Yeah, I'm I'm for it. If you want to ban straws, that's fine. I see a bunch of the um, the boomers on the internet, uh, like putting Thanks. straws in their pockets, being like open carry straws, because they don't live in California. Does California also just? Put the kibosh on plastic straws. The planet's dying. Do something about it. I think it's a good step. I just think, obviously, it seems more marketing than... I don't know. Uh, this is from... This is from GameStop. Okay, I have no idea. No idea what this is going to be. Oh. Okay. Thank you for your order. Uh, we, we got near... Uh, automata automata all right i guess i'll play this <laughs> why did someone buy this for us there's no message thank you i hear it's a good game what is this humanity has been driven from the earth by you, you know there's another beans. package there's another package i'm wondering if it's the exact same thing and we each got one well, maybe. let's see I, like, people tell me constantly that I should I should play this game. I'm thinking maybe that is the case. No. Oh! And then this is Persona 5, which I've also heard a lot about. I feel like someone mentioned Persona 5 recently because of the it deals with gods and stuff. There Wasn't Persona 4 the one where you killed yourself to go into the, game, the other one? That's fucking cool. I don't know. Yeah. Weeb games. 
Um, this is, uh, like Bayonetta, it's a hack and slash. This is an RPG, turn-based. Interesting. Okay. I feel like you'd like Nier more than I would, and I'd like Persona more than you would. Okay. I'll give it a shot. I, thank you so, I don't know who sent it. I wish I did. They are pre-owned, though. I didn't expect you to go to GameStop and get new. That's for sure. Fuck that. Fuck GameStop Fuck in GameStop general. Fuck GameStop in general, yeah. Unless you work at GameStop. So thank you, whoever you are. If you are the person, uh, say that. Why? He's going to hate both of those so much. Senpai sent it. Senpai is uh, Japanese. No, I know. No, I don't know in... who that is. No, I I think they're just saying it as a joke. Oh, like oh. senpai. Senpai is a title. Oh, I thought maybe often there was used a... in manga and, and I thought uh, maybe they had a specific anime. senpai. Now we have <laughs> from from Robert in California. California. I was watching The Wizard last there you night. Go. That movie held up. The Wiz. The Wizard. What's that? The one where it's the yeah. the kid video game competition kid from Wonder Years plays. Ooh, ooh, we should hold on. Lucas is in there. What's He's got the, the power glove. He's getting, it's like California. This might be fucking cool. Hugo and Jake, greetings from California. I have been a fan of the channel ever since I watched the Chick Track with the Creationist Cat. I like hearing your views on religion and other topics. You both have great wit when it comes to anything you are discussing. I have recently decided to send you a mini-series featuring Spider-Man dealing with resurrected Spider-Man and a group called the Santarians. While comics can dip into all kinds of mythos for stories, I was not too pleased that this comic had Peter questioning what had taken place and turning to religion for answers. He deals with demigods, demons, robots, etc. on a daily basis. I've seen this cover before. Sure. Uh, on a daily basis, uh, he is a scientist. Still, the art is decent. I also included one uncanny X-Men comic because it had a nun on the cover. I don't recall the story except the character is not Magneto. But is it? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's Magneto. Anyway, uh... This is fucking cool, dude. Comics are weird. Keep up the magnificent work, and thanks for all the laughs. All my best, and the stars, Robert. Thanks, Robert. We I, we both like comics, so that's a lot of fun. There's that. This is the Amazing Grace series, if you're interested. The art is, is just phenomenal. <laughs> Paul Allen. Oh my god, keep your power gloves off of her. Dude, look at this gooch shot of Spider-Man. Yeah. What a gooch shot. Holy oh, shit. Guys. Hold on, I gotta do it in order or am I gonna be oh, really yeah. irritated. Um, and there's that one. And then there's the last one, I believe. And then there's the Magneto one. Very fucking cool. Thank you, Robert. You're my favorite Bob. Also, you seem to imply in your letter that you felt like the fact that Spider-Man deals with demons and demigods in a regular case should make him not believe in a god. If anything, I would think it's the opposite. If I was meeting, like, magical beings constantly, I'd be like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, well, Maybe I, something's in charge I, of it. I, I, they, never, they never say, like, it's the Christian god. The but one above all is the, uh... Is, is the, the god. god. Is the capital G god in the Marvel Universe. He's the god of all the Marvel Universes, including the movie universes. Probably. Probably. They haven't mentioned it, but it's for all the comic book universes, so I'd imagine. He, like, created the multiverse itself. The only god mentioned is, uh, the one in, uh, the first Avengers movie by Captain America, and it is the Christian one. <laughs> he was, was only one he god, man. He was born man. in probably the <laughs> 20s and was frozen in the 40s. Yeah, I'm just saying. That's Captain America. Okay. So of this course is, Captain America's religious. This that is, wouldn't uh, shock me at all. Okay, we got a long prime box. Guess who this is from? Paul. It's oh, this from... from Paul? Yeah, it's from Paul. What did he send us that was long? Did he finally get me the dildo I wanted? I don't know. Houston Ultimate Women's Expo. There was something on the back. Now I can look up at your balls after you shower. Is this a fucking bath mat? That's a... <laughs> What? Is this a Paul Allen bath mat? 
Jesus Christ. At what point do the people at the Photoshop tell you you're being irresponsible with your money, Paul? Yeah, that's a... That's a fucking Paul Allen bath mat. You know, some days I think to myself, is what we're doing worth it? And it's on days like these, I know the answer is no. <laughs> Doug no, that's McLean, great. Persona great. 3 is where you shoot yourself to summon Jesus and gods and demons. 4, you crushed tarot cards. Did you guys think... Do you think you'll review Persona 5 on Unpop or something? Maybe. It's quite possible. I have to really play it, though. I hear it's a long game. Yeah. So, uh... Do you need a bath mat? Why? I have one. Available. Yeah? Would you like it? Sure. There you go. Okay! <laughs> I have a bath mat. I have a big comfy one. Good. I, know? Have, I have a tiny one, but it's shitty. This is much bigger and more absorbent. That's amazing. So you get to see my balls, Paul. I that rhymes. I think it was just anyone's. I don't think it was... This wasn't targeted. Okay. Now I can look up at your balls, which was capitalized, uh, after your shower. I can't wait. The Paul Allen. At some point, Paul is going to be ridiculously famous, and we are going to have, like... The largest stockpile, like Beanie Babies sure. ver levels of craze will be around. Ash Bradbury, uh, gotta go. You guys have a good night. You too, Ash. I love you dearly, Ash. Gotta catch them all. Someone's talking in uh, binary because they uh, don't want friends. So, what do we got here? There's two, Hugo and Jake. Uh, what? Arthfollow From Ar... Arthfollow uh, That's not my real name. Okay, that's fine. But it should be. It says there's a book and a DVD inside. I wonder if these are lies. Two of my favorite things. Books and DVDs? DVDs and lies. I fucking hate you. I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> Strong dislike. Completely warranted. Strong, strong dislike. Even aversion. Disgust. I kind of... Oh, it's it's uh, Klingon guy. Oh, Klingon guy. Oh, Klingon guy! Why are you holding it like a bomb? Because, like it's because it was uh, like a bomb? What's that? What? Oh, like towards you? Because it was your turn. Okay, there's a it letter. It was your turn for the bomb. There's a letter! You want me to hold these up? Sure. Uh, page uno. Maybe read the second page first, though, but please try your best and read the following. Is it just... <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> please try your best and read the following? I'll do my best. Dear Hugo and Jake. Why is that like that? Actual... I... What? I can't do it. I first started writing the above after around one of the first P.O. unboxing episodes. One of you suggested we should type our letters with our packages because that would be easier to read. I wrote it to try and be cheeky. Maybe enjoy it. <laughs> but, but no, but WP, check the near automatic case. This one's sealed. They're both probably sealed. No. Uh, this one wasn't. Persona 5... Nope. The case. WP. Do you want me to open it? Did you seal it at home? <laughs> anyway. Uh, dear Hugo and Jake, enjoy this typed letter with awful formatting and illegible font. I knew you'd like it if you can actually read it or bother to try. What can I say except you're welcome? Included here is a DVD of bad Christian film. Let God be the judge. Is Medea ripping off beautiful piece of trash with a weird getting into heaven is a literal courtroom kind of thing. <gasps> it's not Tyler Perry. It's Embre Perry. And Look at that fucking asshole. And you see that? Where? Embre Perry. Yep. Oh, I really thought this was a Tyler Perry movie. He's just trying to cash in on the name. It worked. Yeah. I've also included in this package the book Alpha God. I mentioned a while back in a comment you probably didn't see. It talks about dominance hierarchies in human society. It talks about God. It talks about sexual selection pressures. It talks about forced monogamy, and it does so basically as the anti-JBP. By the way, apologies for him from Canada. Most of the book highlights dominance and hierarchical behavior and how gods of most peoples are basically an ultimate alpha male. 
top of the hierarchies we invent for ourselves to show submission to and get dominance from being associated with. And in part, how that's not really the best thing. It's a great read. Hope you guys like it. Anyways, this is hard for me to write, so I hope it's hard to read. This was the intention. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a sixth sense of humor. I followed you since the beginning. Love everything you do. Uh, to think I was 16 then and now I'm a successful Walmart employee just above minimum wage. <laughs> Keep on trucking, guy. Uh, so, mu so much career progress. Always, I'm not sure how to end this awfully written note. So, good luck from Canada in all your future endeavors, eh? A man wants you to check the mirror case. Uh, signed, the guy who on your tubes is Artifamule Nut. You're welcome. Question mark. Thank you. Yeah. I, I checked the near case and the Persona case. There was nothing in either of them except the discs. Unless... I don't know what you want from me. I just want to thank you. Okay, so here's those. This looks fucking terrible. Is that, uh... No, it's not. I thought she was in Destiny's Child, but she's not. Then this is, this is a book. How a dominant male god rises to power. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a very attractive cover as well. I like that. I like books with a, with a nice pr presentation. Yeah. How do romance novels get traction? Persona 5 is amazing. Also, your videos are great. But not as good as Persona 5. I see how it is. Thank you for your money. Uh, this is from Tom. Dom. It's probably not Australian Tom, since I don't think he lives in the United States. Because he's from Australia. I was going to say, it's a misnomer if he's Australian Tom and he's from the United States. You drongo! Alright, what do we got here? Okay. Um, we have Boo Buddies. Or just buddies? Bee buddies? What do these do? Nice Figure idea. out what these boys do. And then... Oh, this is, uh... This is kind of funny. We got a golden calf. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's not just a golden calf. It's a movie's golden yeah. calf. Which is the uh, fast food chain in Kevin Smith's movie universe. A movie's golden calf. That's pretty dope. How do we put this on set? I know. I think that should be if we can work, figure out a way we'll to do that for that now in. because it's fucking cool. Yeah. So thank you, Tom, not from Australia. That is fucking cool. I don't know what these do though. We have to just we have to figure it out. It's just brace. we have to get to the bottom of it. Bracelets? It's a bracelet, and then the, the like little uh, animals attached to the bracelet, so you can have like little animal animal bracelets. Yeah, girl toys are dumb. Girl toys? Wow! Oh, secret. I guess I'm assuming these little charms are what you're supposed to want to collect. So you buy a bunch. Is that of them. the is that the the draw here? I'm thinking so. What do one of these like look like? What is it? What even is this? What is this? What is this creature? I don't know. I don't know what he is. Sassy Hugo. What is is he a gorilla? He's got yeah. He's got little monkey feet. He's got uh, opposable toes. I almost grabbed your pocket because I thought it was cardboard. <laughs> okay. What is that? A golden squirrel? It's just like a golden idol thing. I'm pretty sure this is a this is a hedgehog. I don't think they all have to be like yeah they do animals because this one's like an apple that has a bite taken out of it, but it's got a face. I think it's just whatever they can kind of get How away with. How do you with. do this? You just pry the mouth open like this. And then force their mouth it. open and then force something into their mouth. I'm just saying. There you go. <laughs> and these are girl toys? Yeah, Paul Allen, I can build a shelf for the set. Paul, you're a man who never stops giving. Build a shelf for this if you want to. You're gonna be here. He he is very handy. Do you put all of them all of these on at the same time? I have two more. My wrists aren't um seven year old girl wrists. You could use it as a cock ring. Do you have a chode? A, a chode? Yeah. Which is like a super, super thick dick that's not very I thought long. The, I thought a chode was a little shrivelly boy. Maybe I'm misremembering. Because then it then this, this would not... Like a soda can? Yeah. 
No. That's unfortunate. No, it'd be really unfortunate. You wouldn't be able to use that. Who's who's using that? Who's happily in, engaging? Shut up, Paul. Paul loves the dick. These are this is good. This is good television. This is good entertainment. Watch Jake struggle with an infant toy for five minutes. Here we go. All right. Now we try to force it. Help me. Help me force myself into this child's toy. It's not gonna work. Do it. I'm gonna have to cut you out of this because it's gonna cut off your circulation. Okay, we lost a booby. Mooby? Buddy. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Okay, so that's on me. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Canadian $5 Super Chat. Are you guys going to review the movie? Uh, also, Which movie? Uh, well, also, uh, I don't remember yeah, what the Klingon... Art for the Oh, yeah. Klingon, I said in the online translator. I'm sure we'll go get it at some point. Let me see it. No, let me see the, the note. Did you put it over there? Something. Or is it over here? It might it's be either here. Over hey, there. Good. I forgot what the above Klingon said. I hope it's nice. This is your reward. Nice. YouTube's is wow. That is just. That is that is so hard to read. Yeah. Is that just caps lock cursive? I don't know. I think that is, and I, I want to show you this. It looks like that, and it's and it's. What's that called? Aligned to the right? Yeah. So that it doesn't make any fucking sense to my American eyes. If anyone knows what, what, what this Klingon means... Uh, two things. Number one, you're a virgin. Number two, you're a smart one. So that's fine. Okay. This is from somebody. Where is it from? What's that say? Uh, Indiana. Brian! Brian?! Oh, I, 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 I uh, recognize this name. I believe you're a Patreon patron. Thank you, Brian, either way. But I'm pretty sure you are. I recognize your last name and home address and smell. It's like you opening a bag of pretzels. A lot. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, good. No. This? This is not happening. <laughs> you can do it. I'm not eating cat food. I'm not doing it. That was the worst. Oh, God, that was so bad. <laughs> I don't respect this, Brian. I don't respect this. Uh, this is our church, A History of Catholicism. Oh, nice. Let's see it. That's some nice book art. You guys like churches? This is, a, this is a good market for church books. A lot of really good advertising here. Oh, we got a note. Uh, un, this is a, okay. Dear Hugo and Jake, thank you guys for the great videos. Yes, I know I am using Comic Sans, but I don't care enough to change the font to something reasonable. <gasps> it's George W. Bush's memoirs. Look at this back picture. He's just, he's in his car heart. <laughs> Pres... Press George W. Yep. He's got coffee. You guys remember when this guy was president, man? Hey, you know what? War crimes with a smile. Anyway. Instead of a tweet storm. I, I liked it more, I think. I was a child, however. I refuse to allow the lowering of the bar to continue. He's bad then, he's bad now. Anyway, the Jordan B. Peterson videos are fantastic, and I look forward to watching more soon. Also, I'm glad to see you guys have started on the New Testament. The two books in the box are both books that were given to me that I think I will never read, but you guys might find them funny. I got the History of the Catholic Church book from one of my really Catholic friends, and the Bush one came from a family member. In all honesty, if you guys wanted to, you could read through the history book to see if it's super inaccurate or not. Also, the cat food is for Ellie and not Hugo. I also had a question on whether or not you guys had watched any videos from the channel Philosophy Tube. Ollie does a fantastic job on his videos. I have not. And Are I, there people screaming outside? Yeah. And I think you might find them interesting. Thanks for the dick jokes. I believe I have seen a couple of Philosophy Tube videos. Why not. are they screaming outside? 
It's over. They've all died. Good. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've seen a couple philosophy tube videos. I don't think I've ever sat down and, like, done a marathon or, like, intentionally searched them out. But I've searched certain topics, and that's come up, and I'm like, okay, I clicked on it. You guys want to see a picture of George W. Bush hanging out with his black friends? That was at Katrina. Um, and then... Also, we got uh, one of these uh, snow troopers. I want to say this is a snow trooper. Snow troopers are cool. That's from a cereal box. I liked it. You want it? Do you not want it? You can have it. Sweet. Uh, and then uh, he's holding a child, and then he's hanging out with Bono because he was he was he was a f just a what a fun. <laughs> Here's a photo op with a guy with uh, saber legs. Because those got blown off because of the war he started. Anyway. Um, also, we did some fan art. The oh, fan look. art. Can you see that? That's some, that's some pretty... You gotta tilt it forward. There you go. And it says on one shirt, pop culture reference. And on the other shirt, it says a different pop culture reference. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, look. Collusion. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Brian, for the books. And the... I look angry in that picture. Maybe I am angry. What else we got? Oh! We got a little prime action. That one? What's that one? Norman Styles. Oh, there's one above it, too. Interesting in 80s. J.W. Lit. I'd love your take on Revelation. It's grand climax at hand. I'll send it to you for your heart. Wow, I've never heard of it. Thank you, though. Norman, ugh. And Patty O Furniture, I told my liberal pastor about the TBR Bible study and shared some of your jokes. He genuinely laughed and plans to look you up. You're welcome. Tell him to come hang out with me. I want to... Now I'm hearing the screaming again, and now there's pounding. Screaming and pounding? Oh boy, are we going to witness a murder live on stream? Oh, there's domestic disturbances happening next door. Okay, my next door neighbor, who is an asshole, is having a fight with his with his wife, and they're they're this is some this is some rubbernecker, this is some uh, what's it called homebody bullshit right now. I don't know either of their names. I've never talked to either of them. I disapprove of both of them. She called him a drunk psycho and she was holding a baby and started walking away. This is great. Ooh, right? Like, in a neighborhood. Oh, like, this is a very close... I think I just heard her say, I hate you. Wowzers. Well, well... Can you please call the police? Well, no, they're not fighting. She's standing. She's in the middle of the... She's fine. I will call the police if he, like, gives her a good, uh, a good little love tap. So we'll see how that goes. We'll monitor the situation. Meanwhile, I have a razor blade. Let's cut a box. So, also there's a storm coming. And that's not like a colloquialism. Oh, we better be quiet. She's walking by the window. She's walking by the window. We gotta be quiet. Betty White's thick. I don't agree. I disagree with the Betty White's hot jokes. She was never hot. Betty White has no. a good sense of humor, though. Okay, she's cool. I'm not saying I'm not saying I don't like Betty White. I'm not saying we couldn't become lovers. She's just not thick. I respect that. Okay. Let's pop this fucker open. Ooh. Okay. All right. Looks like we got. We got a few uh, on, on brand. During the last unboxing, I sent you the Rock Mama show. Will you review it? Pay attention to Friday. You, maybe it'll come up. <laughs> uh, hi, Hugo and Jake. Here is some new buddies for you guys from Steven. Is it the same Steven? Hi, Hugo. Enjoy your gift from Steven. I assume the other one says, Hi, Jake. Enjoy your gift from Steven. Yeah, dog. 
So oh, yeah, we got this is, some. This is the some, same Jesus that's in our intro. We too. got some Buddy Christ. That might. That's probably why Buddy Christ uh, was in Dogma. Do you yeah. remember Dogma? Yes. Good film. I like that film. Was it a Kevin Smith movie? Yep. Yeah. Alanis Morissette is God. In that movie. I like it a lot. I think it's um and Ben Affleck's in there. His mom's name is Martha. Uh, Matt Damon is there as well. His mom's name is also Martha. That well, resolves the conflict at the end of the film. You know how it goes. They're brothers. That old uh, gem. Uh, but yeah, this is Buddy Christ. So we should put some Buddy. I'll put Buddy Christ up next to the movie. A lot of Kevin Smith happening today. I think it was from both from Steven though, right? So that would make sense. And then uh, we also got. What would Jesus wear? Magnetic dress-up Jesus. <gasps> and it comes with outfits on the back. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. We should play this. I mean, we could put it up here and every episode we can dress him in a different outfit. Yeah. You're more happy about that than I expected. That's a little oh. weird. Oh, well, sometimes I can be happy. Okay? okay. We both know you're the one that makes everyone happy around here. I'm the one that has to br bring us down. You're the catalyst for our happiness. That's a joke about his depression. <laughs> uh, a lot of enthusiasm today, though. That's good. What the fuck is this from? Is this also from Steven? Steven, are you spoiling us today? That's why I don't give him the razor blade, by the way. You never know. You never know. Actually, I'm more worried it's turned on me than yourself. Let's be real. I'm not going to stab you on stream. Who said I, this is a slashing weapon, not a stabbing weapon. See, he doesn't know how to kill me. I'll be fine. Oh, God. Jesus don't wear a G-string. He wears a butt flap. All right. You think he wears a butt flap? This is definitely from Steven, right? Yeah. Hi, Hugo. Make America great again. That bobblehead's mine. I take it. Oh. This one's yours. <laughs> okay. All right. That's fair. I got a Pope Francis. I got a Donald Trump. Are you popping them out? Sure. Oh, the Don. Wow. This sculptor was very, very generous to him in With the his jawline. In just every sense. Let me see. It's still a weird bobblehead, but like he's not morbidly obese. <laughs> he doesn't appear to be suffering from the signs of dementia. Uh Yeah. No, I'd hang out with this guy. Yeah. This is a straight shooter. This is a guy that says what he means. He means what he says. And definitely doesn't hate brown people. He's a, he's a, he just, you know, nice, he, I, I could drink a beer with him. He's a man of the people. He's down to earth. Way more than that Hillary bitch. You guys ever feel like you could just drink a, drink a beer with Donald Trump? Like he'd hang out with you and drink an actual Miller Lite? Donald Trump apparently doesn't drink. Donald Trump is a nice guy. We just got to give him a chance. <laughs> uh, we, uh, put put the Pope right next to the ball gag. Is there a sort of shelf that you can get that goes into a cork board? Is there a cork board shelf? That doesn't make sense. Someone invent that. Oh, that'd be a thing. I don't know. It doesn't have to hold a lot of weight. This uh, is pretty light. Der Volkser, I want to see Hugo and Jake collab with Contra Points or H-Bomb. So do I. I'd like that. They're both fun. Specifically, Harris. I like Contra as well, but Harris is, uh... There might be a man boner involved for him. Not for unboxing. Deal. I'll keep that to the side. I think this is the person I talked to recently. Okay. Here's a big box from Oriental Trading Company, which can't go wrong. This is the one that has the catalogs full of lots of... Oh, yeah. Crap for parties, right? Oh, yeah. And events and, you know, VBS stuff. Oh, God, movie fell! VBS being Vacation Bible School, for those of you not initiated. Uh, Chris, 10081234. Who's your favorite pope? Uh, that one. What's his name? Pope Francis. I don't have a bobblehead of anybody else. It's pretty obvious who I like. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't have... John Paul was the Pope when I was a kid, but guess what? I wasn't a Catholic, so it didn't matter to me. Oh, we just got a bunch of crap. Okay, here we yeah, go. Oh, is it a bunch of crap, or is it a bunch of good crap? Like, oh, yeah. I need those! <gasps> Are you going to use them? Yeah! Someone I, someone paid attention to me. 
What would Jesus do? Watch out, don't knock over Mooby. These are going in my D&D. &D. Oh, we got another one of these. What are those? Is what this is... the same one? What is it? It's a flood mural. No, it's not the same. Is it? No. No, no. this is clear. Maybe this is like during the flood. Turbulent. Turbulent juice. Boom. Paul, An Paul Allen. It was for Paul. The peace of our God. Okay, I'll open this up. We'll see what we'll see what the what secrets this holds. Different, More coins. Honestly, if you send me coins, I will use them in D and D. Uh, what's this tape? Ooh, caution tape. God at work. Caution tape. God at caution, work. Caution. God at work. It says. That's nice. great. We got some erasers that say Jesus erases our sins. <laughs> okay, so this is. You can asphyxiate someone with this, too. We got a bunch of little gold medals you give out kids probably when they, like, do a good Jesus thing, I guess. Good, do it. What's a good Jesus thing? What's like, a, oh, you told the truth, Timmy. That's, the, that's an example. This is just water. Oh, fuck. Wait, 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 wait. Is it Moses parting the Red Sea? There's a blue whale. Oh, is it Jonah? There's a blue whale. It might be. I don't know how to show this to you. Jonah mural. Oh, there's, there's there's a whale in here somewhere. Just believe me, okay? And then, uh, what's this side? There's a fish. There's a dead one. Is this just an oceanscape? No, it, no, here it is. Here oh. it, oh, this fills up the whole wall. You got a hundred dollar wine voucher from nakedwines.com. I like wine. I'll take that. Thanks, I think, Paul. Three rolls of Christian stickers. Yes. Here's, rolls. Here he is. Here he is. Ah. There he is. Part and seas. That makes sense. Wow. Scoot the set back some and fit more shit on the wall. That's right. Do you have any use for 3D... Do you have any use for 3D terrain for D&D games? It says, Irk. One nine, 1971, Irk 1971. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yep. If you have minis, if you have tokens, if you have coins, if you anything you think would be cool on a D&D &D table, I will take it because we're going to stream soon. Yeah, a whole thing I'm, of Christian temp tattoos. I'm also in the market for lav mics, good ones, and webcams, good ones, 1080p. So if you have them willing to... Oh, some, peop, uh, some people have been... Um, trying to donate stuff and I've been paying shipping some people have offered for sale um, so if they're you know that's a thing I can do uh, I'm not not guaranteed that we'll buy it but you know it's nice to have an offer out there in case we need a, someone price check you know and then uh, some people have just been donating so it's totally up to you you don't have to donate if you have these things you can also like you know it's reasonable for you to be like hey I would like 50 bucks for this not opposed so think about that because uh, it'd be wonderful um, thank you for your order. It's just another catalog. Oh, okay. All right, we got some stickers. Put those over there. You're, you're moving the movies. It's metals. Get the erasers and the caution tape. I think this is a vase. A vase? No, it's like a mason jar. Paul A., patron filler. Patron filler for the for the stickers. There you go. Paul is our Patreon patron patroner. Did I miss one? No. Okay, good there. Boy, is it getting warm in here. Family prayer jar instead of swear jar. Oh, that's going to be just empty always. So, oh, and it comes... <gasps> oh my god, this is an actual little... Look, I swear to God. What am I looking at? They're little slips that are like prayers, and then you're supposed to like, prayer for whoever, and you write it down and you put it in the goddamn jar. That's pretty great. Why? <laughs> because sometimes you gotta get your Christian on, dude. Did the prayers not work pre-invention of jars or paper? Oh, come on. Steven sent one more gift. And they're called Last Supper After Dinner Mints. 
They're little mints. Okay. You know mint? Yeah. They weird mints or they're just like normal mints? I don't know. I I gotta imagine anything called the Last Supper isn't bad. Could taste like blood. That's always funny. an option. These are, that's a pretty nice tin. I like that tin. Do you partake in the mintage very often? Oh, it slides. Uh, like Altoids level of like extreme yeah, minty. Like, that's all like right. Buy mints. Yeah. Like a little pill. Is this gonna get us high? That'd be hilarious. If it gave us X. That'd be great. I'll keep those. I got oh. no plans for the rest of the night. We'd be great. I'm gonna show you guys. <sighs> very cool. Those are good. We got one more box. Ugh. I promise, Sarah, I promise. We're cleaning this up. Yeah. It's fine. Calm down. I think, I think there's a door slam and I think, I think maybe someone's leaving. Neighbor Watch 2018. Okay. You should the call of the police. If he throws a punch, I will. Okay. Uh, they can argue. The Pope won the you. Don't fucking do it. Is this guy the... Is, is he the one that doesn't want me to... He likes spousal abuse? Yeah. And he... Put him up there? Alright. Call the police. Don't call the police. She's after her. I don't know. I don't know where this bit's going. Would you guys be interested in some old BJU textbooks slash AIG books? Yes. Always. I'm, I'm interested in anything you think will be interested in. Even a movie statue. So, like, honestly, if it means something to you to send it to us, I want you to do it. Not only is it fun to open these things, I feel like we connect a little. Yeah. It feels like... Did you shit? Oh, no. That no, was... I thought you shit all over me for a second. Oh, yeah, you're concerned because, see, you have shit PTSD from last night, probably. Oh, I got a story to tell you guys about dog diarrhea. Um, remind me. We're so on brand, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, it's a real story. I make it up. So. No, I know. My it's, life is just Your life with... is super on brand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So this is, this is from, uh, ah, I think... Okay, we're going to call this person Reinwald. They'll know who they are. Don't open this side. Why did you put the label on the top part of... Okay. Alright, I won't open the side that was the top. Is this like a pineapple upside down cake? Uh, Paul Allen asks, what is a soy boy? A soy boy is a... Is a derogative term uh, usually used by the... It means liberal. Yeah, it means like you're a weakling beta male, you eat soy. You eat soy, you know, the real good bean. It's like the same people yeah, who Yeah, call... you're a soy boy, and then they dip their sushi in soy sauce and They're consume. the kind of people who use the word cuck a lot unironically. Yeah, I got called a soy boy. Yeah. I also got called a woman. I'm very, I'm very matronly though, so that's, that makes sense. I like the idea that woman Sarah's is Sarah's monitoring the domestic abuse situation. Yeah, she's got this under control. Much more than we are. I'm going to monitor it. She's monitoring. If it gets worse, she's calling. Probably a good call. If it gets worse? Yeah. What's... what's what's? I, she I, says he's, it sounds like he's throwing stuff now. Oh, 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 oh. I was like, they can argue. They can make a display. They can just be trashy like that. I don't want to call the cops if they're just trashy. It also sounded like he was drunk. I know, but I mean, if, if, I don't know. I think they're entitled to a drunken argument. But if he start, if he's throwing shit, then yeah, I totally agree. Ugh. I wouldn't want them to call the cops on me if I, you and I, were having a domestic. But that's the point. If you're having a domestic dispute to the point where the cops are called, it's probably beyond the point of... Read first. Is this about your domestic issues? Because if it is, wow. How spooky would that be? That's like that Carson bit where you'd take the, the, yeah. the envelope. What's that called? Uh, I forget. Carnat? Carnat. I want to say. Okay. Oh, God. 
Uh oh. Is this person a serial killer? This is Hugo and Jake. I get very. This says Hugo. This says Jake. Okay. I get some seven vibes a little bit. All right. Okay. Let me see. The this. penmanship is pretty good. Good day to you, gentlemen. All of the items contained here are things I had lying about the house. Some of them may be worth some money. In fact, I'm positive at least two of them are. But I am a lazy man and would rather send them to you than attempt to sell them on eBay. Also, although I'm in my 30s, I apparently have the sense of humor of a 12-year-old. Enjoy. St. Swibbers. Now I'm intrigued. You know that scene from Django Unchained? The you one where... My... Oh. Attention, now you have my interest. I have my curiosity. Curiosity, yeah, that's what it was. Oh, these are all... Oh, they're individually did wrapped. Did you wrap these in February, or did you just have that laying around? It's Christmas today. It's Christmas, Valentine's there is Day. There's so much bubble wrap. Okay, so I guess we're gonna... There's there's so many Mini things Mini Christmas. Mini Christmas. Yay! All right. Now for my neighbors. <laughs> Oh, now no. I'm sad. Or their kid that's going through that. Okay. Oh, no, that's still... I'd say it'll probably turn out fine, but I went through shit like that, and I'm here, so... Uh... That kid, at best, is going to make a lateral move into this studio in 20 years. I hope not. All right, this feels like food. Let's open these. Okay, probably, good. Probably nuts. Sarah's saying it looks like she walked. She actually walked away. So good. She is safe. Pretty sure she walked away? Yeah. She took the kid, I'd imagine. She walked away? Yeah. All right. Cool. Monitoring the situation. The sitch. Okay, these are in a fucking plastic bag. These are rocks. The man gave us rocks. They're kind of cool, and frankly, Sarah was looking for rocks not too long ago. I'm going to give Sarah the rocks. That's super weird that it, it it's something I'm not throwing away immediately. So thank you. What was the... I, I forget your pseudonym here. What state is this from? St. Swibbers. Uh, I don't remember. St. Swibbers, are you there? Are they lesbian rocks? I, I don't know. I, I don't know how that works. Okay. All right. This is from Image Comics. This is Happy by Robert Morrison. I don't know what this is, but it looks dope as fuck. I think they're making a TV adaption to this. Uh, too, with... Happy brings together, for the first time... Oh. Nick Sachs is a corrupt, intoxicated ex-cop turned hitman adrift in a stinking twilight world of casual murder, soulless sex, eczema, and betrayal. With a hit gone wrong, a bullet in his side, the cops and the mob on his tail, and a monstrous child killer in a Santa suit on the loose, Nick and his world will be changed forever this Christmas by a tiny blue horse called Happy. But those are feathers. Yes, it is a TV show also. Okay. That is ongoing right now. That sounds cool. He's. It looks like he's maybe crazy and sees a little horse imaginary friend. Ah, that helps I see. Him solve. Crying, I would guess it, but he's like a. Okay, he's this like is a, this is a a, a must read uh, from Cameron Pierce. This is called Ass Goblins of Auschwitz. This is obviously for you, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you that. Uh, please read the synopsis, because I don't even know I don't know what. Good for Groovy them. Panda, I hate when Mama Jake and Papa Hugo argue. They're ruining my childhood. Also, what's your PO box? I'm interested in donating a webcam. Uh, 2250, P.O. Box 2250, Saginaw. Ooh, they're driving in the car. There's a, there's a whole situation going on over here. Um, I think it's 225, no, no, no. It's in his Twitter bio. If you go to Twitter and go to Papa Bird Jake, it's in his bio in full. Yeah, maybe that was the last one. Anyway, anyway yeah. It's Monty Python meets Nazi exploitation. Okay, it's tongue-in-cheek. Good. In a surreal nightmare as only can be imagined by bizarro author Cameron Pierce. In a land where black snow falls in the shape of swastikas, there exists a nightmarish prison camp known as Auschwitz. It is run by a fascist, flatulent race of aliens called the Ass Goblins, who travel in apple-shaped spaceships to abduct children from the neighboring world of Kidland. <laughs> 
Okay. Prisoners 999 and 1001 are conjoined twin brothers forced <laughs> to endure the sadistic torture of these ass-shaped monsters. To survive, they must eat kid skin and work all day constructing bicycles and sex dolls out of dead children. What? While the ass goblins become drunk on cider made from fermented child flesh, the twins plot their escape. But it won't be easy. They must overcome toilet toads, cock rats, ass dolls, and the surgical experiments that are slowly muting them into goblin child hybrids. Hugo is too loud. They want to know about Child Watch. We have to huddle huddle close. Because my window has an AC unit, so it's roughly open. Neighbor Watch 2018. The mom pulled into the driveway. The she, mom of the wife. She should probably go and stay with the friend. Nick Picky! Hi guys, thanks for clarifying the definition of soy boy. Here's five bucks for saving my marriage. <laughs> Also, we have, what's the matter with Job? God keeps fucking with him. Uh, his, why, his daughters keep fucking him. That's a lot. you right. Three men who walked in fire. We just read that story not too long ago. Red, Shack, me, Shack, and Abednego. <sighs> and then Daniel in the lion's den. This is, just, this is getting, this is inconvenient. I'm sorry they couldn't schedule their domestic disputes around our job. You know, to be fair, we would have done this earlier if not for the diarrhea. Yeah. It's okay. We'll get to that story, I promise. We have a DVD. What is it? Something weird video. Chesty Morgan double feature. Is this a fucking porn? Starring the amazing Chesty Morgan in Deadly Weapons and Double Agent 73. Seeing is believing. 73 32 36. Double DVD set. Okay. The neighbors across the street are being a little bit of a buzzkill. There's a crying child and lots of yelling. Yeah. Okay, to the backdrop of this noise. Chesty Morgan, whose 73-inch breasts were the twin stars of Deadly Weapons, is back in this screwy spy epic from director Dorish Wishman, um, who directed classic Nude on the Moon. Call the police. I don't need to call the police. There's someone in there right now taking care of it. Yeah, her family's there. Uh... There's no way this isn't a porn, right? I assume it's um, sort of se in the 70s, Chesty 60s, Morgan. 70s, it was a little blurry between porn and trying to make a movie. Dude, these so it's are, probably porn. These are, yeah, but these are like, these are coming all the way down here because they're 73 inches. Here's another five for putting up with my sarcasm. Love you. Thank you. Love you back. I don't get the the being attracted to, to the boobs that are they're so wildly big. It's like almost like I, like carnival freak big. We you know should what I put mean? this in though. We should. I don't want to watch porn with when you. When gangsters kill her boyfriend, the eye popping, excessively endowed Chesty Morgan seeks revenge with the two of the most incredible weapons ever seen on the motion picture screen. Her boobs. Her seventy three inch breasts. Miss Morgan, billed simply as Zsa Zsa, is it Zsa Zsa Gabor? No. No. It's not. Uh, an Israeli stripper whose gigantic watermelon-sized bust is downright scary plays Crystal, a, su <laughs> a successful advertising executive. They put it in quotes on the back of their... Okay. Who tracks down the men who offered her lover and... Sm who offed her lover and smothers them by shoving their faces into her copious cleavage, all of which leads up to a bizarre, mind-boggling surprise ending. She gets a mastectomy, because they're cancerous tumors. A completely deranged cult class sick from Doris Wishman, 
Deadly Weapons proved to be such a hit in the grindhouse circuit that another Doris and Chesty collaborative, Double Agent 73, quickly followed. To see it is to believe it. Oh, this is both movies. Yeah. Oh. It just, it was so busy, it just looked like a really cheap porn. I no. Double feature. There's no way that doesn't, that doesn't go into my PlayStation. She looks PlayStation. exasperated with her own tits, doesn't she? She's just a little, like, just like, be? oh, God, again. She it's did. a grindhouse movie, though, so maybe it's not, maybe it's know. like a, maybe it's, it's like soft It's core. probably like sexploitation, crime, she murders people with her tits movie. This is a card game. You and Jake review porn. This is called Gang of Four. This is a card game. Uh, and it's in many languages. I don't know what this does. Oh yeah, porn dogs. We still have to do porn dogs with Brad at some point. Oh yeah. You need to give some of your Christian stuff to your neighbor. They sound like they need more Jesus in them. <laughs> I don't think it's the time. I'm going to I'm going to throw this out there and say probably probably wouldn't be well received right no. now. Hooray. Groovy Panda, can you do a review of the wonderful misadventures of Chesty Morgan? What a coincidence. We just happened to... Yeah. Oh, it's a Funko oh. Pop of Jake the Dog? Yeah, Zombie Jake. That's cool. Yeah. All right. I don't watch that show. I do. I'm not caught up all the way. It's ending soon. Oh, I think we have another... I think we have another porn. Not every movie is a porn. It could be a porn. You don't know. It's a Blu-ray, though, I think. Bedeviled, oh Bedeviled by with Young Hee Seo and Sung Wong Ji, famous actors. <sighs> Hai Wong is a woman on the edge. A series of incidents at work earn her a forced vacation, but when she travels to a remote island uh, at the urgent request of her friend Kim Bak Nam. She has no idea what devils of the past are waiting. Now, I know that their names are real in real life. And in Korea, they call them by these names. But, like, Hai Wong, and then in parentheses, Xiong Wong Ji. Are they lying to me? I'd never know the difference. You know that uh, happy comic we got, too? Yeah. Uh, Sarah knows one of the artists for that. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Neat. Doink. Now we got another one. Boop. I was expecting a can stream. A cam? Oh, cam stream. But the, now it's this. The what's, that, what's that mean? I don't know. The Fantastic Adventures of Unico. I feel like Unico's a thing I'm familiar with. Unico, the unicorn, has the amazing power to make anyone he meets happy. Whether it's one of his personality... Oh, wait. Whether it's because of his personality or the powers of his horn, no one knows. However, the gods become jealous of Unico, thinking that only they should be able to decide or allow people to be happy. Unico is banished. I got a harmonica. Tom Papa. Unico is banished to the Hill of Oblivion, and the West Wind is ordered to take him there. She can't stand giving the fate to Unico, so Unico's adventure begin. Get Brad Jones and review the porn from Leningrad 13. Uh, as the West Wind takes him from one pl place in time to the next, in a never-ending journey to escape the wrath of the gods, based on, a, <laughs> based on a comic by the legendary Osamu Tezuka, the god of the manga. This classic... The god of the manga. The god of manga. So, oh, sorry. That's the, a deep voice is talking and I can't tell it's being said. Oh. This classic film is available on DVD for the first time ever. I've never heard of this. It sounds interesting. I think I've seen it before. I could be wrong. Unico. Interesting. You want to play the harmonica I just wetted? Um, because you wetted it, no. Oh, well. There goes your shot. No, yeah, what let is me this? See, let me see it. I want to see it. I changed my mind. The harmonica? Yeah. Okay. Because you can sort of play a harmonica? I'm trying to show off right now. Show me up. I don't think I can play harmonica. Why do you hold it like that? Hold it like what? That's just breathing. That's 
That's basically playing the harmonica. Sounds like the Civil War. This is what you play when you get just the the lead ball. That's what they were. They were just making shit up. They're just I, they're just making shit up. Harmonicas aren't an instrument. They're a toy to annoy you if you're a kid. Oh fuck! I don't have the Tom Papa skills though. In fairness, I don't have the we, bandoliers. We, we got a uh, uh, fifty-two HP CDR disc spindle. No, it's a hundred pack. He said this was probably a, a hundred dollars at that time. Fifteen years old. It's not worth a hundred dollars now. No. I, I hate to. Yeah, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. This has depreciated greatly over the past fifteen years. But thank you nonetheless. Have you guys started watching Castle Rock? I haven't. No. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh. Ooh. We get more mints. Oh, are these Chessex? Are these dice? I think these are dice. Is the era of the Antichrist as foretold by Moses and Jesus? Oh, is this the, the era what of is the it? Antichrist? The, the late great planet Earth. Someone mentioned that to me recently. And oh, these are fucking cool dibs. They're mine. I got dice. Well, the other ones. I don't know yet, but these are dibs for so far. Yeah, you can have them. They look good with your guy. Gold and silver. Oh, yeah, they got a little... It looks a little orangey, too. These are dope. That's perfect. Thank you, sir. Nice. Thank you. I really like dice. You can tell we're nerds. Yes. We got uh, all pumped. <laughs> Anyway, this says, There was certain signs predicted in the Bible which were the herald of man's doomsday over the past 20 years. The world, Over the past 20 years, the world's developments have fulfilled most of the conditions set forth by seers in both the New and Old Testament. These include such recent events as the rebirth of Israel, an increase in natural <laughs> catastrophes, the threat of war with Egypt, the revival of the interests in Satanism and witchcraft. All these happenings were foreseen by the prophets from Moses to Jesus as being key signals for the coming of the Antichrist. So this is just an Antichrist book. And the end times are right now! This was published in... What's the publishing date? Oh... Uh, second printing, 1970. We also got to, if you are interested, because I don't have space, on uh, my years side, later, not, not the Antichrist. We not. also got in, uh, things for a, a, a dice tower. Oh. You drop, drop your dice on the top and they roll on out. I know what a dice tower is. Would you like it? Sure. I don't have space on my side of the screen. Yeah. Here you go. Here's two for you. Which one? Probably the DVD. This feels pretty Ooh. solid, though. I'm curious what this is. Oh. When was that book published? 1970. Wow. 47 years ago. Or 40, 48 years ago. Right? 40, wouldn't it be two? Some, there'd be a two there. It's 18, right? Am I crazy? Yeah. What am I thinking of then? What? Shit. 80, 90, 2000, 2010, 48. You're right. 48. Okay. Yeah, you're good. <gasps> it's the Dancing with Jesus book from the, from the thing. From what thing? You've never seen this? From the thing? The Dancing with Jesus. It dances. I was the Antichrist, then I found atheism. Solid. Are you cursed with two left feet? Are your dance moves unrighteous? Do you refrain from getting down, letting others judge you cruelly? Fear not, salvation is at hand. Consider this your personal book of revelation. It's a series of easy-to-do steps inspired by the words and deeds of the original Lord of Dance. Lord? Jesus of Nazareth! Is that what it says? It's what it says, the original Lord of no, Dance. Did it do, was, was this part... I don't know was how... Was that a I, flourish? I don't know how you would... That you uh, did? Write that down. Okay, so you, that you didn't. I just artistic license. That's fine. But how can such wonders be, you might ask? The Bible never mentions Jesus dancing. Verily, it hardly speaks of dancing at all. True, the Nazarene never actually performed any of the routines revealed in these pages. Yet, 
all were inspired by his life and his teachings. If you'd like to remember the Last Supper, there's a dance for that. Likewise, for the cleansing of the temple and Jesus' ascension to heaven. You can't even commemorate the words and deeds of the New Testament. Hold on, vast stop. Supporting is this real? This is like, not making fun of anything. Number one, the water walk. Make waves without a splash. Follow the... Sh oh. Stand with your feet apart, knees slightly bent, shift your right Would leg. Would you like to do this while I give you instructions? I'll do my best. I don't have a lot of space. I don't have a lot of space either. I'm just going to have to stand here. You can't even see in this camera what I'm doing. That's fine. Okay. Stand with your feet apart, knees slightly bent. Shift to your right leg and jut out your right hip. Then shift your left leg and jut out your left hip. Keep repeating. That's pretty good. A lot of butt in my side of this, but... Bend your arms, then swing them in sync with your legs. When you shift... <laughs> oh, is this a Carlton? It's Carlton A little dance. bit. Uh, add cool touches. That's just... You can just do that. Yeah. Once you get the base, basic movement, add cool touches. Use your right hand to make a visor for your eyes. Then look around the dance floor. Where is the disciple's boat? There it is! <laughs> then look down at your feet. Oh, okay. We're not done. There's Paul! He's drowning in the water! Lean over and raise him up! Or he'll die. Dancing with Jesus is dope as fuck. There's nothing wrong with dancing with Jesus. I think this is another pop boy. Oh! Here's one to finish your set. This seems more like a you thing. You got you got these all over the place. Not pop things, but just like The things. Temple Slam! Shake your money maker at the money changers! <laughs> It's a good one. Here's, uh, here's Finn. Yeah. There you go. Oh, take Ooh. that. Oh, I think that's it. And if it isn't, oh, wait. I got one we here. got one more. I got and I this. also have a, uh, Pumper magazine. Pumper. Not, not gay. So awkward. I don't even think I can show this to the camera without YouTube flagging it, so I'm not gonna. This is straight up, I think, hentai porn that someone has sent us to Blu-ray of. Don't show it to the camera. Wait, I, I don't no, know what's on, on the back hold of it. Hold on. Yeah, me either. Oh, this is straight up hentai porn. <laughs> Includes uncensored reversible cover. Well, I don't know if you guys know a lot about me, but I'm I'm just too curious. Yeah, that's got that's got little Asian girl nips. Uh, the king. This is called the King of Breasts. And there is some intercourse occurring. Uh, that lady is there's 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 too much. Oh, there's urine. That's urine. Let me read the description on the back. Mm. Yeah, my dick didn't even flinch. This is really bad. King of King of Breasts. It's a treasure hunt. I think you can show that. Um, it's it's you can show women in bikinis, but you can't show that. I'm not gonna risk more than that. Oh my god! I, All right. Do you trust YouTube in what in any capacity? I don't. There you go. Okay. Well, show the bottom. Show the show the show the title. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> King of Breasts. You see it? No, you gotta tilt it forward or backwards. Eh. Just, there you go. King of breasts. All right. It's I a, will forever see Uncle Hugo dancing in my dreams. It's a treasure hunt. That's also a pleasure hunt. And the winner gets the booby prize. Never mind. Uh, where's the trash bag? Naoya likes breasts. In fact, he's so obsessed with them that he can recognize any breast just from a picture. But while that's an impressive ability, is it? Is that an impressive ability? Please give Handmaid's Tale a look at what you... We're reading about porn! I do enjoy Handmaid's Tale. It's a really good show. Is it good? Yeah. Who would expect some mysterious patrons to set up a game where Naoye has to locate five championship breasts? What's a championship breasts? It just says five championship breasts. Does he mean five breasts individually? Is one missing one? Do they or have to be... Do are they, they five pairs of breasts? It's gotta be pairs, right? I'd imagine all so. Of, all of the young ladies that are obviously overage, definitely, totally, um, have both. That I could see from the pictures. 
Okay. And to have lots of sex, too. That's exactly what happens. And ha- they have lots of sex, too. That's exactly what happens when a girl named Nur shows up and gives Naoya the rules and a stack of free sex vouchers. That certainly doesn't suck. Or actually, with his free vouchers, that one's on this happened to the... Chris, would you ever check out the infamous Euphoria? I don't know what that is. I don't either. So, yes. With everyone from his teachers to the girl giving out free samples on the corner as possible game pieces, Naoya is going to have a long, hard, and very probing time ahead of him if he seeks to approve that he's the king of breasts. Runtime. Uh, what is the runtime? 56 minutes! Not quite feature length. Television movie length, Disney Channel original movie length. Don't know about the girth. But I'm bum. Anyway. <laughs> Did you get that one? Leningrad. Speaking of porn, have you guys heard of Alan Moore's graphic novel Lost Girls? No. No, I haven't actually. Uh, and Paul Allen, can you make Hugo and me t shirts in the style of McGee and me? <laughs> logo? Also, when is the next Teespring sale? Also, use the poppers. <laughs> Uh, maybe with the first thing, uh, Teespring sale, I don't know. I feel like poppers are bad for you. I feel like they gotta be, right? Right? Poppers can't just be okay. I don't know, they concern me. Jake is defeated, it's perfect. That has hurts. Uh. Alright, so, I guess we're probably gonna wrap up here, so I got a little story. Oh yeah, start telling your story, and we're gonna wrap up probably a little bit after that. So, uh, also, if you, if you want to get your uh, question uh, answered, definitely, um, to make sure, uh, do Super Chat. Uh, but we'll try to do uh, anyone that catches our eye at the same time. So, it's not necessary. It's just guaranteed. Um, I, I, wanna, I really wanted to wear one of these Jesus medals. But this, okay, there we go. We got the knot. You want a Jesus medal? Eh. Okay, fine, that's... Fuck it. Whatever, man. You got too many awards in your... Is Chessex, like, the... Repertoire? The generic d and uh... I wouldn't say it's generic or, or, or D&D. Usually their uh, D20s and stuff are for Countdown... Or... Is it Countdown? For uh, Magic, the Gathering. Mm. D20s are used for that a lot. Um, but, yeah. Uh, queen of my own... Do you think it's okay to be a closet atheist just to avoid the just to avoid the inevitable religious family intervention? I don't care. Yeah. Do you have any problem with that? I don't have a problem I mean, with that at all. I, I mean, it might be personally just as a general thing. I think that's in the long term less healthy for you Probably. than just being honest about it. And however they deal with that is their own problem. I think as a way to um, mitigate bullshit, it's but fine. if your goal is literally just I just want to avoid confrontation regardless, then sure. Yeah. I kind of disagree with it but i see where you're coming from and if that is your goal that's a fine way to go about it it's yeah. just that i typically see the goal as being open and honest and trying to make them see that that's an okay place to be we don't have to agree about these things yeah but i am what i am and i believe what i believe and you need to accept that you know because that's what they would say sure uh with god the will we will gain the victory that's a psalm okay uh so this morning i'm laying in bed and uh darwin the puppy he sleeps with me and uh he's real cute and adorable and i love him very much but um he was having trouble shitting the other day uh and so we thought let's give him some wet food and hopefully it'll help him clear out right um he's, he's had wet food before He's dealt with it, because he usually just eats dry food, but we thought maybe he was a little stopped up from just constant wet food. Maybe not enough water. Maybe he was constipated. So uh, we gave him wet food, he shit fine. And then, the next day, we take him for a walk, and he shits just liquid right onto the sidewalk. And so, a caveat to this overall story is, uh, Sarah and I are walking the dog down down the sidewalk, and uh, there's a lady across the street... And she's gardening in her very beautiful garden. It's very quiet. We're the only three people around 
outside in this area. It's a very nice day. Very chill. Sun's out. Perfect visibility. This is important. Um, so she's she's watering her garden or whatever. Darwin decides immediately, and he doesn't ever do this. He decides to just squat and shit quick. Like, squat poop. And he did so. And it kind of goes splat. And it was wet, goopy poop. So we figured, probably just the canned food, right? So on his leash, because we walk him in a neighborhood, I have a poop bag. Yeah. I don't have a poop vacuum, however, so I didn't actually pick this up. What I did was I took the bag and I, and I you know, made it very conspicuous that I was opening the bag so that the lady across the street would realize this. And I took it down and I bent over. And then, and then right when she looked, I picked it up. And I held it because plastic bag, it had like, you know, I could trap the air in there. I was like, oh, Darwin. And then we started walking away. So I never picked up that shit. Because you can't, it's liquid. I can't pick up the shit. I'm not going to pick up the shit. But there. you need to show there was an effort maybe made. It that's wasn't, what I'm but it needs to look like yeah, it That's was. what I'm saying. That's important. So anyway, next day, uh, we're hanging out watching House, right? And uh, Darwin's feeling fine for the most part. He's uh, being being cute, uh, jumping up and down, being a crazy thing, chasing the cat, eating, drinking, being fine. And then uh, he shits on the floor. We don't know why. He shits on the floor. Actually, we weren't watching House. I'm sorry. He shit outside while we were watching the house, and he made that big poop squirt. And then while I was streaming, he shit on the floor in front of Sarah. And she was she was initially mad because he doesn't ever, he's never had an accident in the house. And then this morning I'm sleeping, I wake up to the smell. Luckily, it avoided all the blankets, but he's laying on the bed at the foot of the bed, and there's just shit all over the corner of the bed, just wet dog shit. And Darwin had gotten up because he he shit in his sleep, and he got up, he stood up, stood in it. And then jumped off the bed and whimpered next to the door to get out. So I woke up to shit. And uh, I went outside. What I, was that like where you're like, I, hey, wake up. There's shit yeah, everywhere. Yeah, it was basically like, oh, God. You're like, what? There's shit. And uh, so I I, I, I sprayed the, his little paws. Oh, I, no. I threw clothes on. I took him outside, sprayed his paws, sprayed his butt a little bit. He shit dry. He just dry heaved. He had the heaves today. And uh, nothing happened, so we take him to the vet, because it's been three days of liquid shit. And I take him to the vet, and apparently he shit in the cage at the vet. And uh, that's why it was late tonight. Good story. That's my poop story. How's your bed smell? Oh, we bought new sheets. I'm not cleaning that. And have you soaked into the mattress? Uh, no, I got, I mean, it was, like, I got it right away. So uh, there was just a little bit that soaked through and put some stuff on it and wiped it up. It seems fine. The mattress is fine. Okay. So, yeah. That's my poop story. This is why I'm in favor of robot dogs. Robot dogs are stupid. So are normal dogs. And yeah. they shit on you. He didn't shit on me. He shit near me. Close enough. You shit closer to yourself than anyone. I'm okay with my own shit. I mean, I don't want to touch it, but, you like... You ever touch your shit? Like, actually touch it, not like a poke? No, me only either. accidentally. Yeah, me too. You know, I so I, 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 I... We accidentally changed toilet papers. I get Charmin Ultra Strong. Yeah. I get the Charmin Ultra Soft. Interesting. I like the strong. I like the soft. Yeah. I, mean, I have it's... a tender... I have a tender butthole. Sometimes I have to get Preparation H for the hemorrhoids, you see. All right. Um, and so uh, usually we get these really big, massive rolls because they last just forever. It's just the two of us shitting here. Sometimes you guys, when you come over, but I, I don't know if you or Alex, you're the two people that come over most, ever, have ever shit in here. Have you shit in my house? No. Right. But you pee. I make a cassette. But you don't have a vagina, so yeah. you don't have to wipe it unless you wipe your ding ding. I very rarely have had to do that. There's been specific occasions where it's been a weird dribble situation. Yeah, yeah. No, I get that. But, but like, yeah. No. Yeah. Like you, maybe you maybe you flicked it weird, yeah, and then like it there was like a there was like a loop or something, yeah, yeah, yeah you know what I'm talking about, but yeah, no. So uh, I'd like to the rolls last. I like forever. to think women are very confused by what do you mean it loops? What? Yeah, the guys know exactly. What I'm like maybe yeah. you flick, you it, flick it weird it, and it does a thing. Does stuff. Yeah, and so we usually get these big old things. 
So we got, they were sold out of the one kind we usually get, but we're just like, oh, there's just smaller rolls. They're just less. Yeah. No, they're also shorter this way. So when I, when I got, you know, you have a standard practice of wipe. Uh, I got the normal amount and I was like, this is not enough. But I've committed to these amounts of panels. It's it's like six panels or something. Because uh, you go here, and then you go here, so you make sure you don't get any on your hand. Well, it didn't cover the hand. You six sheets It's either six or paper. four with those. Wow. Do you not use more? I, use, I No, I don't use one, but I use like two or three. Yeah, well, I, 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 I do the whole... Well, I use, it, I use it and fold it. Do you fold? I fold. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. I, I, I've always... My brother used to wrap it around his hand. I hate that. It's either six. It's one of those things I don't think about until I'm in there. It yeah. might be four, but it's definitely not an odd number. That's I don't stupid. Like, you know what I don't like? Fucking bunchers. Knock that shit off. Bunchers. What are you doing? Anyway, or, or Aston. I guess you guys are the shit. I'll leave. Good. Um, and so uh, went after it, and I I made it out without an incident, but but I was I came out of the bathroom and said, "Babe, we got the wrong toilet paper. Not enough coverage." For my gaping maw of an asshole, apparently. Your asshole is basically a sarlacc pit. It is. It's just well, you bend down, and I don't know. You gotta, you gotta make sure that you get the, all the, the sides. The hairs are like the tendrils. I actually, not not very hairy. I don't have a hairy butt hole. Good for you. Or cheeks. Good for you. you. Got a little hairy action there. You gotta deal with it sometimes, man. You know, yeah. it's all stuck up in there. Wait, do you shave your butthole? Is the question, do I or have I? Well, no, obviously you have, because, I mean, who wouldn't try that? You can ask one of those questions and receive an honest answer. Wait, wait, wait. Only one, though. Oh, I only get to ask one? Yeah. Explain to me the experience of shaving your butthole. That's not the... It was out of, do you or have you? Have you. Yes. And then explain it. Yes. I don't have to explain it. Why not? That's fun. How do you do it, logistically speaking? Do you have a buddy? No. Oh. Just like, I could shave your butthole... I don't want to. I could though. Like I feel like it's a lot easier. I wouldn't. There's a lot it. of things I can't. I don't want to shave myself. There's a reason people probably wax their buttholes and don't shave them. Wax their buttholes. You cut the shit out of your butt. That's not. A, that was an accident. I'm not gonna lie though. As treacherous of a. Was thing, it good gliding? It was like it. It did the job. Wow. It was the most glorious wipes ever for like three days, and I was like, no, this isn't worth it. <laughs> I'm not going to... I have the upkeep on this. Waxing waxing your butthole. Yeah, people do that. I feel like the, the junk needs to be... Needs to have an easier... I'm scared of nair. I'm not super hairy anywhere, they really. They make but... sensitive nair for men. Do they? Yes. Have you tried it? Yes. Is it good? Works fine. Gets do you rid use of most it of often? I use it enough. I feel like you have the bushiest if you just... If you don't. I've Judging it. by this. <laughs> It's not like it, like it's it, like it's like fresh like baby sheep's wool. It's not a bad approximation. <laughs> You're not, yeah. You wax your butthole. No, Paul, you wax your butthole. Why are you like this? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, uh, I know a huge asshole. Oh come on, Tommy Robinson was released from jail. Well. One more win for free speech. It's Tommy Robinson. He's the guy that went to jail for violating his uh, court order. And then uh, the MAGA hats and the Brexits folks were like, hey, it's free speech. But he violated his court order. The ones saying, like, Muslims are rapists. Outside the court. You do not remember this? We I talked do. about it. I okay. do remember now that you bring it up. Yeah. Yeah. Don't violate your court order, kids. That's... They're, they're orders from no, courts. No, unless you're a Republican. Then you can do whatever you want. Well, he's not and, a Republican. And, and he's, no ever... he's English. Oh, okay. That means the Right same. wing. Darwin is okay right now. He seems fine. Uh, he doesn't have uh, uh, Giardia, which is what I thought he might have had. Uh, he doesn't have he doesn't have any worms or anything. Um, putting him on antivirals and some thing to make his butt good, and he gets boiled chicken and rice. Trim it, don't shave it, you'll thank me. We still talking buttholes here? What are we talking about? The junk? I gotta try this nair business. I'll report back. I'm scared of it. I do trim. I trim the junk business. For I trim sure. it, but like, you gotta. I want it. Well, it just ugh, too grody. Yeah. There's a certain. There's there's a there's a line I shall not cross. There's also a line of too much. Like the the if you just right after, I hate it. <laughs> I feel like a child. 
Like, I feel gross touching my own dong when there's not there's not a stubble around. It, it really bothers me. I do feel free, though. Free from the bonds of my adulthood. Do you think ball hair is where we start getting cynical? Yeah. Once we get ball hairs, we're just like, oh, God! Yeah, next week we should make a plan to just shave our balls and go get some fun dip. We'll have a great day. <laughs> Elizabeth Smith, what about the religious task force from Sessions? Bad. I made a tweet about this. I just said, Hillary was just as bad. <laughs> I'm so exhausted by this country at this point. You know what's a nice country? Uh, I don't know either. I was asking. I'd like to go there. Sweden? I don't know. Shoot me directly into the sun. It'll be fine. So, that's probably it. Yeah. You can always uh, check us out on Twitter at Papa Bird Jake. You can check me out at Hugo Reloaded later this week. Check out uh, what we're going to be doing. It's going to be a little different. It's going to yeah. be some Christian movie kid show stuff. Uh, but more than one thing. So, should be good. Um... You can donate to the Patreon. That's amazing. The Patreon stuff's going out soon. I guess you're going to get some uh, stickers or something. Uh, we got, we, I got envelopes big enough this time around for Paul Allen's pictures to go in. <laughs> Good. Uh, so Speaking I think of which. Should, Paul, I think we have switched to the gay Hugo and Jake universe. <laughs> because we, we take, we manscape. How dare you, sir. Um, and then... Uh, I don't know. I think that's it. So that is the end of the stream. Um, not as much of an end as that marriage, but an end nonetheless. Like, we'll be back. End of that childhood's, that, that child's sense of self-worth for the rest of its life. Well, I don't know if, I don't know if that should be the, the what, you, what a child takes from a divorce. I don't think that's ever what a child should take from divorce. They can hate e them, each other without it if being I guess I fault. was assuming they weren't going to get divorced. In my head, what happens is uh, oh, they stay together, they for, stay together. Oh. for 20 years, oh. even though they should, you know, yeah. should stop. No, getting, that hits too close to home for you. When they should stop getting drunk every night yeah, and mine, like, yelling um, at each other about their sex lives very loudly. Mine, um, mine, uh, my, mine cut, the, cut the cord probably a couple years later than they should, but I think they did a good job. Yeah. Wasn't that anyway. bad? Enough about enablers. So, wowzers. Uh, until next time. I'm your Hugo. channel is great. Just discovered it a week ago. Thanks, Emerther. Tell your friends. Woo. Sex lives. Wait, your parents talk about their sex lives at each other loudly? Yes. That's good. There's a reason I'm in therapy. Let's talk I about I don't do this. it for fun. If you end the stream, I'll be dead. Roop wrecked Jameson lives, uh, lives on the stream. He only exists when you see us. Uh, actually, do you want to just leave the stream open while we clean up? <laughs> Why? So they can just see us cleaning? Yeah. Uh, we've done dumber things. All right. Oh, so cleaning. Clean so we got to keep these because Paul sent them. And I think I think these are meant for the, chair. for the back of the... We'll put these over top of the lights in the corner. That was a pretty good That was sauce. a pretty decent. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Oh, God, I broke his something. Everybody. What did I break off of him? His hands. <gasps> his fingertips. I broke Pope fingers. Can he do blessings if he doesn't have fingers? Uh, Luckily, if the Pope doesn't have fingers, he can't finger blast any more boys. It's like, it's like that Twilight Zone episode. There was time now. <laughs> I was the Pope. I could have gotten away with it. Why uh, is why is here. my version of the Pope a 1960s cartoon villain? I don't know. You I would have gotten you, away with it. You go on this side here. Oh, God. That was a lot of Hugo. A whole lot of it. You guys almost saw Climax. It was going fast. With your ferocity. See, I, I had started boxes, but we got, we got too full. We got too full. We overshot. We flew too close to the sun. We should do this every time. What? Leave the stream open. Clean. Bond. 
bond with the fans. We're people too. We clean. We don't have maids. We don't live in the lap of luxury. If you're a maid, I would love for you to do this for free. <laughs> I'll trade, I'll trade meals for people cleaning my house. Someone's going to say, isn't that what your girlfriend's for? It's a hilarious misogyny joke. What are you saying? What do you want? Where are we putting, where do you want me to move this stuff to? Let's put it on top of Sarah. Can we just, she's watching it on our TV. TV. That's weird. Hi, cat. Oh, God. Hey, give me that cat. You think we need to call the cops? There's two vehicles over there now. Uh, it looks like her parents are there. They have a pickup truck, and they're yelling outside again. He yelled something, or she yelled something about Jake isn't threatening clean. to punch her in the face and burn down the house, like, later. I'm assuming that's her parents. Yeah. Yeah. Should we, though? I w at this point, I would. If there was threats of a fire next to my house, Who was, I would. What, who's saying it? The drunk boyfriend? He's a husband. Husband? Whatever. They're married. They, got, they, they made it official. Okay. They're yelling again outside, so that's what I'm thinking. All right. Well, we're going to go deal with domestic abuse issues and possible arson. So... Um, this is video evidence of that in case this goes to trial and I have to be a fucking key witness. <sighs> didn't want to go, do that. You don't have to go talk to him. Just call the cops. I don't know Just what what's, what's that have to do with, what's that have to do with me this being video evidence? I don't know. Me either. Don't tell me you video it then. I didn't video it. Okay, time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, by the way, fuck you uh, for the cat food. That's bullshit.